Hey guys, it's me, Dolphinatic, and welcome to the beginning of my Pokemon. Uh, uh, I was gonna say Omega Ruby, but it's not. It's Alpha Sapphire. Welcome to my. Um, oh no! You know what? Just screw it. Screw that whole thing. Let's start again. Welcome to my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Egglock. Now, this video is gonna be quite short because I have got the eggs, but look what I bought today. Today. Yeah, yeah. So, this is literally the first time I've put the game in. So, we're going to go through the whole thing step by step. See how this goes. So, without further ado, let's go. And let's play it in Korean for a little... No, I'm kidding, kidding, kidding. I can actually change the language with power saves, which I did by accident the other day on my... Omega Ruby, and I was like, why is everything in Japanese? But let's begin the game. And watch this beautiful cinematic intro, shall we? Nice and powerful intro to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Let's go straight into the game and not make haste, shall we? Oh no, wait. Let's make haste. I think I said that wrong. Never mind. That's what you're here for, my stupidity. Let's watch another intro, shall we? Why not? Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. I call you bitch. You're my bitch. No, actually, your daughter is my bitch. No, you know what? I'm going to be May because I'm always the guy, so... I'm going to be made for a laugh, because Bants, top Bants. Oh, oh my god, 3D Laurie. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pocket the Monster. X, Pocket the Monster, why? That's what they're known as. Now, they're known as Pokemon, or Pocket Monsters, as my mum calls them, because she's too cool to call them Pokemon. She literally does call them Pocket Monsters. I actually think I asked her what Pokemon stood for once, and she actually knew. It was a Japanese thing called Pocket Monsters. And I was like, whoa, okay, mum, you're obviously too cool for me. Now she only knows Pikachu. Sad, I know. What is this running through the grass? It's a... We'll never know. We'll never know. Maybe it was that Taylor. I don't know. Oh, and the door's opening. It's Narnia. What about you? A boy or a girl? Well, in real life, I'm a boy, but this time we're going to be May. What should we call myself? Well, I don't know what to call myself. Never felt so empowered. I'm just going to stick. I'm going to stick with Mei because I quite like that name. And I like her in the anime and whatnot. So we'll go with Mei. Yes, I am Mei. Ah, I see. You're that Mei. I am that Mei. You're the one who's moving to Little Root, where I live. Nice and pokey nav. I like my little Azuril doll there. At least I've got little kissy lips. Your very own adventure is now to unfold, about to unfold. Be courageous. Leap into the world. Oh my god, voice break. At least I think it did. I have, a head I have like headphones on, so I can't really hear too well, other than the game sound, so. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. We're actually in the game, though. Hooray! Or at least I think, yeah. <sighs> what, what have these boxes got to say for themselves? It's an Azuril doll. It has a familiar smell. Um, alright, I guess that makes sense, because cardboards can't, cardboards, card, boxes can't talk. The box is printed with a Pokemon logo, it's a Pokemon brand moving and delivery service. Is that a Christmas tree? Definitely looks like a Christmas tree. A very small Christmas tree. Right, let's get out of the truck, shall we?
Nice and 3D Hoenn. And Q, like the best music. Or like best Pokemon game for music, that is, anyway. May, you're here at last. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of the bumpy moving truck all that way? Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like I sh it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you may get your own room this time, May. Come on, you get to see the inside. There were definitely not that many boxes in the truck when I was in there a minute ago. Oh, and Machokes. Do they even lift? I think they do more than lift, to be honest. They miss leg day. Definitely miss leg day. See, May, isn't it nice in here, too? To be honest, it looks like every generic house I've ever seen in Pokemon. Grow, grow, grow. Gwa, gwa. It's Machamo. Mogwai would be happy. I reckon Mogwai is the owner of, uh, of that moving company with his Machamps. And my jokes. You should go up there and see your new room upstairs, May. Dad even bought you a new clock. Hooray, which you can't set because it just takes the 3DS time. God damn it. Let's click this and see what happens. The clock on the wall isn't moving. You've got to set the time. The hour hand was set to 20 and the minute hand 27. Perfect. That's the same time as my computer saying, so that's a good, good sign. How do you like your new room, May? Good, everything's put away neatly. They mo they finished moving everything in downstairs too. It's really, it's really, it really is so nice having Pokemon around to help us. Yes, and don't we all wish that Pokemon were real so we could get them to do all the dirty work for us? And obviously, I would be the Pokemon champion. So, oh, May, May, okay, <laughs> that's what I expect Brendan to say, mother, not to you. It's Petalburg Jim. Dad'll be on. And we missed him. He is like the worst father in the world, putting work before family. Come on, dude. He hasn't learned a lesson, really, has he? Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Yes, because I'm going to go introduce myself to an old man. Well, adult man. Why not? And he appears to be a woman. Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're May. You're the next door neighbour. Welcome. We have a son who is just about the same age as you. He's been so excited to make a new friend. He should be in his room upstairs. Hope you'll go introduce yourself. Right, let's go introduce ourselves and uh, get on this date to Nando's ASAP before uh, he gets taken by someone else. Look at that hat. To be fair, I always thought his the white bit was, uh, was his hair. Don't know why. Well, to be fair, in the old games it did look like his hair. <laughs> this game you can actually see it's a cap. Pokemon fully restored. Items all packed and... Yeah, you. Who are you? Yes, there's a stranger just standing in your bedroom. May? Oh, you're the new kid who just moved in next door. Huh? I didn't know you'd be a girl. So you didn't know if I had a girl's name, I'd be a girl. Okay. Huh? Hey, May. You don't have any Pokemon. If you want, I can go catch you one. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm supposed to go help my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Some other time, okay? And cue our intro, no not our intro, our start to Pokemon battle, hooray! So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to play up to the part right now with my starter until like uh, the bit I can trade, which I believe is after you help Wally, you get the um, Pokey, whatever it is. And then what I'll do is, uh, off screen I'll trade over all my eggs I have on Ruby, and then at least you'll be able to just trade eggs to my Sapphire now. Because what I'm going to do is, the... Poochyena you have to catch, or you can catch with the hidden move, um, I will clone it and then just like just give you loads of my clones. So we can pick Torchic, Mudkip or Trico. Whatever level this thing is by the end of the episode is the level I'm going to make the Pokemon that hatches from the egg. So all levels in this video will not be wasted. And I have actually picked Mudkip and Trico so far in my other Let's Plays of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so I've only got Torchic left to go. Also, it means we'll get Blazer Knight, so that could be quite fun. Hopefully one of you guys sent me in a Torchic, that'd be nice. But let's see what this uh, this Poochiana wants to do, shall we? So, Torchic, go, be shiny! Oh, you suck. You're a female, though! Hey, not bad, we got a vagina chicken. And, uh, it looks like I'm pretty slow. Never mind. Let's... 
Oh, I have Ember. That's good. We can do that. Probably kill it. Oh, just over half. That's good. And tackle. Let's lose the egg lock without even collecting an egg. Woohoo! Why not? And Ember for the kill. Perfect! While Poochiena fainted. 24 experience. Look at them levels. I'm going to grind so much before I get to the rival battle. Well, not grind so much. Battle all the Pokemon I come across. Oh. Oh, you're Norman's girl, May. I didn't even realise who you were at first. You've grown to quite the young lady. This isn't the place for chat, though. Come along to my lab. But why did I have to introduce myself? If he's obviously already met me, if he can tell I've grown up. Never mind. Pokey logic. Game freak logic. There is none. So, May, I've heard so much about you from your father, but he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. Is that true? That was quite the performance back there. Why, thank you. I, uh, I do lift. Actually, I don't know if May lifts. May, May looks like the sort of chick that you'd see down the gym. She looks pretty skinny. Uh, while you're at it, do you want to give a nickname to the Torchic? No, because we're going to be getting rid of it soon enough, as soon as possible. Um, yeah, let's go find Brendan and kick his ass, because girl power. Yeah, I just said girl power. Um, yes, I can get... Oh, I can rest at my new house. Am I healed up now? I don't know. I didn't want to go in my bag. I haven't even got anything in it. Um, yeah, I'm healed up. Alright, we can do this. We can take on Brandon. Brandon, Brandon, whatever his name was. I've gone already. Um, I'm pretty sure. I haven't figured it out yet. I don't think it's possible to lose to your rival at the start, in the starting battle. Well, unless you're that stupid. I'm pretty sure... That, and I'm pretty sure it's the same in X and Y, where they just sort of spam Growl and Leer and... Whatever else they had, scary face or whatever it is, I don't know. Pretty sure they just spam that. Oh, we oh we can get free experience off Wormpool, pretty much. Ember should kill, right? It does, it does indeed. Very nice, very nice kill there, Torchic. Level six too. Okay. So whatever we hatch from the egg, our very first egg is going to be level six. Right, let's carry on. Are we going to find someone else? Let's. I need to use the analog stick. I'm using my arrows. Yeah, there you go. You managed to get through the grass. Oh, come on, introduction. It's so painful. I, you know what? I could have just gone through all this without you watching it, but... Yeah, it'd be like missing... I don't know, foreplay and sex. Yeah, definitely. Um, first of all, that's the Pokemon there. Just look out for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. I'd like to give you this as part of a special promotion. We obtained the potions. Hooray. So we put the potions into the medicine pocket. Potions can be used any time, so they can be very useful to have. And this is the Pokemon Center. Look for a red roof. Ask a woman inside and she'll restore your Pokemon's health. That's it. That was an advice from me. The supremely kind-hearted clerk. Have a nice journey. He was a very nice clerk. He was very nice, actually. He was. I agree. Right, let's go find Brendan. I need to stop using the arrows, for God's sake. Use the analog stick. The power of diagonal. The power of the 3.5th dimension. Alright, I feel like we can take on Brendan. Brandon. Brendan. Whatever it is. Brendan, I think. Yeah, Brendan. We'll go with that. Hey, it's the pun from the intro. Ah, so this is... Oh, so it's this one and that one that live on Route 103. Huh? Hey, May. Oh, so you finally got a Pokemon from my dad. Then how about a little battle, since we're all at hand? Oh. Wait, what? I read that wrong. I read hand. I don't know where I got hand from. I'm going to teach you what being a trainer is all about. Cue awesome music. I love this music. It's my favourite song from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It just, it's just upbeat. I just love it. I'll just let you listen to it. It just makes me happy. I guess that's always a good thing, though. Right, let's start scratching this thing to death. He's too stupid to even use water gun. Oh my god, that done nothing. Tackle, don't do much, please. Ugh, Mudkip too strong. All right, Ember, I reckon Ember stab is probably going to do more than... Yeah, it does, it does more than scratch. Burn it. Oh, oh, it's a critical hit, okay. Where's my burn? Where is my burn? My computer screen has gone to sleep. Where's my Ember burn, Torchic? Where is it? Nope. No Ember burn. Um, am I? I'm in blaze range now, so this could do a lot. And I should potion up next turn. Oh, there's the burn. Oh, there it is. There it is. That was meant to be really high pitched, but that came out really wrong. 
Ember one more time while in blaze range. Kill that mudkip off. Yes! Yes! It's going to be a very haxy egg lock. I can already tell. <laughs> Torch again, 66 experience. Yes, that's enough to get level 7. That's good. Pokemon trainer Brendan. Ah, oh, you're not too shabby, mate. May receive 200 pick dollars for winning. That was a good battle, thanks. Here, let me heal up both our parties real quick. Your team's health was restored. I think I know why my dad has Zion on you now. Because he's a pervert! Look, you just got your Pokemon, right? And you already had that strong of a bond. I get the feeling that you could befriend any Pokemon, mate, no doubt. Well, I've just got some good data here, so I guess it's time to go back to the lab. You should head back to you, mate. Who makes their son work at half past eight at night? Seriously. That's one cruel father. I mean, I would refuse to work if my dad told me any time, to be honest. Because <laughs> I'm that rebellious. I'm heading back to my dad's lab first. Come on, mate. Let's go, shall we? Route 101. Ah, that reminds me of Zoe 101. A bit of a tangent, but... Whew. Jamie Lynn Spears. And uh, I think her name is Victoria Justice. Disney girls. Yeah. They're, they're the kind of girls I want to tap. Anyway, it's enough of a side story. So I hear you beat Brandon on your first try. Amazing. Brent, it was Brendan. Yes, I got it right the whole time. Been uh, has been helping me with my research for a long time, so he has been pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm hmm. I think that settles it. May I order this Pokedex for my research? But I think you should take it. And we got the Pokedex. You think I should take it, do you filthy man? I guess I just take things out of context. That Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My boy Brendan takes his from everywhere he goes. Whenever he catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why he comes to seek me out whenever I am in the field and show me. The Pokemon are people you will meet, and the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in your Pokedex. I'd love it if your world seemed wider than ever. Though I'd love to see it even more if you came back from time to time showing me what progress you've made. Oh, I'm getting all the itch from, to get out and do the field work again. Huh, so you got a Pokedex too, mate. Well then here, have some Pokeballs on me. You can use them to catch a wild Pokemon. We can catch Pokemon for the Egglock. The Egglock has begun. So all the Pokemon I catch in the time being will be exchanged for eggs. So what I'm going to do is, because I have the beautiful power saves, in between this episode and next, I'm going to have to hack in 999 uh, rare candies. Uh, I can put instant hatch. There's an instant hatch cheat on, which is helpful. Um, what else do I need to do? I think that's it pretty much. Then we will be set to go on this egglock. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed. But don't push yourself too hard. If anything happens, you can always come home, honey. Ah, thank you. And here we go. We are leaving for our journey in home. And oh my god, how many people want to stop me? This is for my dad. He said he forgot to give it to you before. So the PokéNav Plus has been updated. The DexNav function has been added to your PokéNav Plus. The app I just added to your PokéNav Plus is called the DexNav. It can tell you a lot about the Pokémon living in each area and that kind of stuff. It's a handy app that if you're trying to catch lots of different Pokémon, I guess it's about time I use the DexNav to do a little more catching myself. I'm going to head that way and see what I can find. May, you should use those Pokeballs I gave you earlier for a bit of catching too. Hmm, right then. As long as we don't find any Pokemon in this grass. Okay. We're going to have to kill that Poochiena. It's a shame, really, because that Poochiena would have been level 5. What level is this Poochiena? Don't be level 2. Come on. Scratch? I might kill it. Okay, it didn't. That's fine. I love how... Oh, that was, wow, that was a critical hit. I love how Torchic does the little runny thing when it's uh, attacked the, uh, the Pokemon. Right then, our first Pokemon from Route 101 is not Poochiena, it's Torchic! Don't catch it! I'm going to have to consult my uh, Torchic's summary screen and see what uh, route it was technically on, because I guess it was technically Route 101. Which means this Poochiena is illegal. Uh, however, I did need to catch a Pokemon to clone anyway. So, um, we'll just ignore this. 
uh, Poochiena as a mi as a minor blip. <laughs> um, let's just have a quick look. See if Torchic says like Little Root Town or anything. Uh, what does it say? Does it say anywhere? Route 101. I got Jolly Nature. Holy poop. That's actually pretty good. And that was Jolly as well. Oh man. <laughs> That's a good Poochiena as well. Oh, never mind. Right, that Poochiena's going to go in the box. And he can be my trade thing that I do. Hey, over there. See that right there? There's a tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding there. And look here. If you check your Dex Nav. Score, it looks like that Pokemon knows a pretty rare move, too. May, try getting closer, real nice and slow. Push lightly on the circle, but... Oh, wait, that's not him speaking. That was meant to be me reading it. The sneak. You're almost there, slowly, slowly. You remember if you... Yes, I remember. Breaking the fourth wall, huh? It's a bit hard doing it on the 2DS. All the buttons are smaller and stuff, so I, I, I had to learn. And it's a lot... It's different, it's different. It's a nice different. Wild Puchiena appeared. Now, you're going to have... Thunder Fang, aren't you? I'm pretty sure they have the Fang, which is super effective against um, your uh, rival starter. Oh, that end with the nothing. Oh! Oh! Oh dear! Oh! He has got Ice Fang. I done one damage. Nice and one damage with that burn. That's two burns already. And we've done what? 20 minutes? 15, 20 minutes of this first episode? Two Ember Burns already. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I... I don't even know... Why does Ember not thaw out the ice? It's a good job I burnt it, because I could have lost. And that would have been embarrassing. Been very embarrassing. Oh, not quite level 8. Not quite. Close, but not quite. And that's the end of the tutorial. Hooray! Let's go and um, keep Puchiena. But I must remember he is not mine to trade. He is mine to clone. Ah, oh, I forgot they have the stupid thing. They have to pause it first. Why did they make it an option to change organized boxes to the top halfway through the game? Why can't they just do it from the start? Never mind. Good evening. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, I would. So please take your Pokemon for a few seconds then, okay? Okay, it's a shame you can't catch a Pokemon in Odale Town, really. Old Dale, Odale, whatever it is. Old Dale Town. So, that Poochiena can go in the box, which I put it in, ready to clone, so I can trade all over my eggs. Um, now we can go catch some Pokemon for realsies this time to exchange for eggs. So, Route 103. What are we going to find? Anything cool at all? Anything? I mean, Jeep's Claws isn't a thing, really. Oh, Zigzagoon, that could be cool. Well, actually, no. I. I guess if we get to a stage where I can't have the HMs on any Pokemon I have, I will use a HM Slave, but I'm pretty sure I won't come to that. Right, thank you for not critting or anything, Torchic. It's very nice of you. I done one damage. Why is my Torchic so bulky? That was Stab. Normal types are normally pretty good at the start, because it gets such early stabs. The Tackle's actually, what, 75 base power? Which is pretty good, I guess, for a starting off Pokemon. Gotcha, Zigzagoon was caught. Cool. Alright, so the first egg that I exchange uh, will be level 2, which is brilliant. Not. However, I am going to have one egg, which is going to be level 8 at the moment, which is nice. And Zigzagoon is going to be entered to the Pokedex. Why not? The hair on Zigzagoon's back is bristly. It rubs the hard back hair against trees to leave its territorial markings. Says Pokemon play dead to fool its foes in battle. Really? Really? And that's all that route has to offer, really. I'm going to go put him in the PC, because at least that way I won't be tempted to use him in any way. I'm not allowed. I mean, I have to use Torchic. Or I have to use something to get through to the stage where I get my uh, pokey trading thing, don't I? Um, someone's PC. Organized boxes. So, I need box one and two. So, we'll put, we'll put Zigzagoon in box three. A modest... Zigzagoon. We are getting all of these competitive natures, I'm telling you. All these competitive natures. Alright, let's go outside. And head west, where this guy would have been blocking us off before, for to look at mysterious footprints. I thought I was sketching some rare Pokemon prints. Turned out they were my own. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Funny. Hilarious. What was that? Oh, it's Wingull! Oh, no, I didn't mean to press the map. 
I meant a, yeah, I thought I had my Pokey Dex now for whatever it is open. Oh, I wanted Wingull. Never mind. Um, let's battle you first. Why not? If you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Okay. Slightly rapey. You're challenged by Youngster Calvin. Where's Youngster Jerry? I don't even know if there is a Youngster Jerry in this game or not. If there isn't, I'm upset. Torshik. Lego. How much is an Ember going to do to you? Probably not too much. Oh, wait, I forgot to heal. I just thought it had an automatic. Oh, wow, I've done a lot. Oh, my God. Torchic, this is like Fufu reincarnated as a chicken. Like a very fire. Although we did get the freeze against us. So we've had a freeze and three burns in the first half an hour of my egg lock. This is going to be so much fun, guys. I can already tell that shit's going to happen. Shit's going to hit the fan. I like saying shit. Sorry if that offends you. And we got some money for winning. Not bad. It's not enough to pay me for sex, though, buddy. Um... That was a low tad. Level 5. I'm going to catch you because that's a nice level for my Eggy Weggy. That's right. I said Eggy Weggy. Definitely said Eggy Weggy. Right then. Let's catch this low tad. Hopefully an Ember won't kill it because it's neutral. And he doesn't have a water type move. He'll have Absorb or something. So let's Ember and see how this goes. No crit, please. No burn. Oh my god. Uh, what? What? Are you actually serious? It, that seriously oh my god this game has no chill why why game why did if, if I don't catch this now I'm gonna be so annoyed thank you oh my god I asked for no crit I asked for no burn what do I get a crit and a burn pretty sure it's only 10% chance and I've had it four times already in like six battles that doesn't add up. Something is going to happen. Something bad is going to happen. Lotad is said to have dwelled on land before. However, this Pokemon is thought to have returned to water because the leaf on his head grew large and heavy. It now lives by floating atop the water. And that's why we just caught him on land in grass. Because why not? Hey. Right then, let's battle this bug trainer, shall we? I know I have Lotad in my party. I just won't use him. So we are challenged by bug catcher Rick. Okay, sorry if you just got like loads of chair noise. I just moved because my I was literally falling off my chair. Right then, Torchic, we we've got this. You, you don't even need to get a crit or a burn this time because it's just gonna die in one hit. Watch and learn. Hoorah! Super effective. And the Wemple fainted. Not bad. Torchic gained 48 experience. Now, actually, let I just remembered something that I thought earlier. I was unsure as to whether I should take my starter through the game or not. Now, this is the reason I'll let you choose, actually. I'll let you guys decide or have your opinion because the eggs all have different... And Well, unless I'm getting this completely wrong, then it could be irrelevant. Pretty sure... Or is the original trainer the one who hatches it? No, the, no just ignore me. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure the original trainer is the person who traded the egg. But now thinking about it, I don't think it is because there was that whole... Uh, program where you could like trade your Pokemon to someone who has this right shiny ID and then you can get someone to hatch the Pokemon to make it shiny. So actually no, I was going to say, because I thought originally that eggs that I get in a trade might not be mine and therefore will disobey me, as well as grow really fast. So if that isn't the case, perfect. If it is, then I'll need to think of something because I could just end up trying to battle loads of people without my Pokemon uh, listening to me, which I'm sure would be hilarious for you guys, but painfully boring for me right then that's a dead tailor oh another crit another crit this is this is this is like building up for some massive climax where one of my pokemon is going to die an absolutely hideous death and i don't want that let's get these berries the orin berry has two berries very nice very nice indeed and let's get the other one what's that a petcha berry doesn't heal the burns though does it not quite right that's that done. Right, we've only got this... I was going to say, we've only got that trainer. Oh, come on, Brendan, just let me go. Please, dude, I've said no once, I'll say no again. Hey, there you are. How's it going, May? You hope you've been using your Dexnav and perfecting your sneaking skills. Oh, and you do know about the Dexnav's detector mode, right? 
It will react to any Pokemon in the area, so it's pretty handy to use. Hmm? Whoa, check him out, May! <laughs> Pretty little mute flies. It's like, I don't know, seeing, that, seeing them like that makes me feel kinda warm, you know? Alright then, we're nearly there. Petalburg, here we come. We're nearly done! Oh! I thought this episode would be a lot longer than it. What? Where's this? I hear the grass rustling. Oh, there he was. Okay, my sneak skills are not good enough. They're not quite the same as the stalking skills of uh, Mr. Brendan. Right, let's go and over here then, shall we? Not bad. It was a good battle. For thank you, sir. Come back and challenge me any time. I'll be looking forward to seeing you and your Pokemon again when you're a bit stronger. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm going to do special training for my Pokemon. Then I'll challenge this gym. Thank you for that battle, Mr. Norman. So does that mean my name is May Norman? Nah, it can't be. But why would you call him Mr. Norman? Never mind. Why if it isn't May? So you finished moving in. I see. Well, I guess we shouldn't stand around here talking. Do you want to come in for a bit? We can talk in the gym. Ah, oh, gym music's so good. You know, I was sure was surprised that you managed to get hit by yourself. I see, you're making a good start on your team. Mm-hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, May. Now that's something I look forward to. Um, excuse me. I, I'd like to get Pokemon, please. Hmm, aren't you? You're Wally, right? Yeah, yes, I'm supposed to go stay with my relatives in Verdant Turf Town for a while, but I thought I might get lonely by myself, so I wanted to bring my Pokemon with me. But I've never caught Pokemon by myself. I'm not sure if I can. Mm-hmm, I see. May you heard all that, right? You go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here. I'll lend you one of my Pokemon. And Wally received the Zigzagoon. Oh wow, your Pokemon, sir. Hmm. I'll give you a Pokeball too, so give it your best. Uh, thank you, Mr. Norman. Um, May, he will. He'll come with me, right? Look, at least he's not borrowing my torch it, because it would burn the rolls to a crisp. Literally give it a burn. Probably get a crit as well, just for a laugh. May, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please stay here and watch and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I think I've got Wally nailed to a T, man. I, I, can, I can picture him being very British. So Wally sent out Zigzagoon. Yeah, he did. Right then, and look at this male Rolts, which one day becomes a mega powerful... Beep! Spoilers. Don't want to ruin it. The Rolts used Growl. Okay. Oh my god, this is going to be painful, no speed up button. No, no speed up button, no nothing. Six of you use tackle. Kill it, kill the rolls, kill the rolls. Oh. Where's that critical hit, rolls? You need my critical hit luck, that's what you need. Wally, I'm su supposed to f uh, weaken a Pokemon before I throw a Pokeball, right? I, I didn't see what the last bit said. Come on, Wally. I'm done watching you catch a Rolts. I want to just trade over my eggs. Please. Hooray! It worked. Gotcha, Rolts was caught. I did it. It's my own Pokemon. Thanks so much, May. Let's head back to the gym. So did it go well? Yes, it did, thank you. Let me give your Pokemon back to you, good sir. And you, May. Thank you so much for coming with me. It was all thanks to you two that I was able to catch Rolts. My very own Rolts. I will always, always treasure it. Oh, I know. It's not too much to thank you, other thank you, but, um, May. Would you let me see your Pokenaf Plus for a second? Oh, here we go. Oh, and that I'm there. Nah, you sly old dog, Wally. Give me your phone number. I see you. I see you, Wally. You can use Play Now features on your Pokedex Plus. I read in a book that you can use the play now to take care of your Pokemon and train them. And there's even supposed to be this thing called the PSS where you can meet up other trainers and battle friends and more. I've wanted to have my own Pokemon for so long and do all these kind of things together. 
So I've had all these kinds of apps installed on my Pokemon App Plus for ages. Embarrassing, huh? I'm gonna go try my best with Rolts. You do your best too, mate. That's it, you do well with your Rolts that only knows Growl. Oh, my mum's waiting for me. I'll go have to be going then. I, I got that completely wrong. I hope we'll meet again, May. And you too, Mr. Norman. Why did they change Wally's voice? Never mind. He could definitely... I love how they develop Wally. His confidence just grows. But for now, May. If you want to become a strong trainer, listen to my advice. Head for Rustboro City, which lies beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders as well. Collect badges and for them, okay? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. I'm sure we'll battle one day. But that'll only be after you become stronger, May. Guys, the Egglock is officially begun. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. The window is still open for you to send in eggs. I will probably keep the window open throughout the whole thing, just because I will probably not need a constant top-up, but then at least you have a chance of your egg being in this series. So if you guys want to um, see... Uh, if you want to send me eggs, uh, talk to me on Twitter, or go to my video where I announced this egg lock, and you'll see my friend code on there. And add that. Let me know you've added me in like a comment on this video, or on that video or something. Um... Like I said, I'll give you a 6 IV ditto as well to help you breed if you need one. Um, but other than that, I can't really think of anything else. I'm just going to stand here because as the cool gym leader music. I am going to go off and set up everything I need to get this egg lock properly rolling. You guys can just do your bit by liking and subscribing if you are not already. I think I'm done. Thank you for watching this video, guys. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>